talks tonight, um, for everyone for coming tonight. Uh, as we all know, an event like this does not take place without a large team of people, a lot of behind the scenes work, and so if you will just put your hands together for the people that did this, I'd like to individually thank um, the different groups. So first and foremost, I would like to thank my incredible administrators, head of school, Mr. Michael Moimoy, secondary principal, Mrs. Gail Smith, and Deputy Principal, Mr. Richard Granger. Please give him a big round of applause. I realize that I never actually introduce myself, and some of you may not know who I am. <laughs> My name is Ms. Darcy Lachman. I am the Athletics Director and the Activities Coordinator here at TCIS. And for those of you who don't know, I've only been here about six months, so I've been supported and encouraged and loved along the way, and especially by those three people I just mentioned, so I could not have done this without them, so thank you. I want to make sure I get everybody, so I apologize if I miss you. I really hope that I don't. Uh, behind the scenes, also working with us are the administrative assistants, Ms. Yunji Yang, Ms. Dain Lee and Ms. Sinny Choi, who have done things like translation, community, communication. They've even gone to the airport to greet all of our guests, so please give them a round of applause as well. I'd also like to thank Mr. Huang. He is our transportation manager, and I know that he's worked incredibly hard to make sure that we get all of these wonderful students back and forth between the airport and the hotel every day, so please give Mr. Huang a round of applause. <laughs> also, our general affairs team. There are quite a few people, Mr. Jung, Mr. Yoon, and many others that have done all the behind-the-scenes work, setting up, tearing down, um, you wouldn't, might not even ever see them, but you might magically see tables and chairs appear, all the stands and the, and, the, and the chairs set up, and even just opening up the back of the auditorium, and all these things could not be done without them, so please give them a round of applause as well. The other one is hiding, but you might have seen some photographers kind of wandering in and out. Mr. Craig Gordon is down here, and Mr. Ted Adams is somewhere, but they have done an incredible job capturing this festival, and if you go to our APAC website under photos, you'll see a link to the Facebook page, and you'll be able to kind of see what all of these students have been up to the last few days, so thank you very much for all the work you did there. If you notice our beautiful APEC banner, there's one here, there's one in the Activity Center, and of course our school banners, representing each of the schools present today, were designed by our middle school athletics director, Ms. Mandy Landers, and our design teacher, Mr. Jamie Ward, so please thank them. They also designed our t-shirts. Uh, the program that you were able to get on your QR code and also the program that's embedded in the website, Ms. Mandy Landers did that as well. And I'd also like to thank Mr. Moimoy and Mr. Granger for the amazing website that has all the information you need and you can look back on it for years to come and see all the memories there. So please thank them. and I know Mr. Lundgren already thanked you, but I was a musician myself growing up, and I know what it was like to have my mother tell me to practice over and over again, and I didn't always love it, but we always love when our parents tell us to practice, right? But look what an incredible result it is when we do our practice, when we put in the effort, and I know the parents have encouraged these amazing students, they've loved them, they provided these incredible opportunities, and without all of you, this would never be possible. So I'd like to really especially thank the parents again. Please give them a huge warm round of applause. Finally, um, this actually makes me a little bit emotional. Even though I don't actually know all of these students here, I know my students, of course, and I've gotten to know a couple of you. But the last three, three years have really hit our students the hardest. And I was just doing the math a little bit and realizing that the current senior class has had probably the least amount of activities and events available to them. Their freshman year, about halfway through, we shut down. And now they're on the second half of their senior year and they are 
thankfully getting their activities to come back, but they've really powered through, and so I would like to ask all of our seniors to please stand and be recognized today. This final event together. Um, what I would like to do now is recognize each individual school and their band directors because of course if we did not have the band directors preparing these students prior to them arriving at TCIS and working hard all together this would not have been possible. You can't learn music and parts in two days. So all of the work that was done prior to that was done under the direction of each individual band directors from these schools. So we do have a little something for you today. Um, we're going to ask them to bring up the table so that we can present each school with a plaque. So if you'll just bear with us, that would be great. First up, I'm going to ask Mr. Colin Taylor to please come to the stage from Brent International School from the Philippines. Next, we'd like to thank Mr. Andrew Melton from Canadian Academy from Japan. Next we have Mr. Mike Ross and his middle school band director, Mr. Chris Ward from Hong Kong International School. We have Mr. Joshua Yanu from Seoul Foreign School, SFSBC. Scott Harbin from United Nations International School, Hanoi. And last but not least, this would not be possible without our wonderful band director from TCIS, Dr. Kong. Please come to the stage. applause to our guest conductor from Singapore American School, Mr. Jay Lundgren. Uh, 
update while I was backstage. Uh, Kate says hello, and fantastic. It was two, uh, four o'clock in the morning, and she said it was worth it to stay out for watch you guys before. Well done. up here and many people have been recognized uh, and I echo uh, what Ms. Lachman said about Dr. Kong and Mr. Longgren. What an incredible team and there's one more person up here on the stage who hasn't been thanked yet and I wanted to add a slight bit to her story. She's only been at TCIS uh, since August but also what she didn't tell you is that the support staff member helping her, uh, we changed personnel during that time. Also, we have a brand new sound live stream technician uh, experience, but new to us at TCIS, Mr. Joe, who has been on the job a, a couple weeks. And so a huge shout out to him and Kamsanya Dad. <laughs> and a huge thank you to Ms. Lockman for coming into TCIS entering a post-COVID context and hosting her first ever APAC event and doing it so incredibly well. Can you please appreciate this? Thank you, Mrs. Smith. Uh, I definitely could not do any of this without all of you. Um, for right now, we have something a little bit special, so I'm actually going to ask that you bear with us. We're going to transition a little bit here, so I'm going to ask the band members to actually exit the stage. So it'll be a little noisy and messy for just a moment, but while they're doing that, uh, we actually have uh, a team of teachers and students who put together a little highlights reel for us. So as I mentioned, people have been taking photos. Uh, you might have actually seen a couple students come through, maybe doing a few interviews, and and they've just kind of put together just a fun little just blip into the life of APAC band preparation. You get to see the final results, but now you get to see a little bit into the behind the scenes preparations. So I'd like to thank uh, Mr. Jamie Ward and Mr. Brendan Harris. They were the teachers that facilitated this, and there were quite a few students involved, but specifically Catherine Park and Jinsung Park. They actually did all of the editing. They put it together and produced this um, actually just this morning, because as you know, they are actually here to take all of these photos and videos and then somehow had to edit a video in time for tonight and they did an incredible job. So as we transition, um, please uh, put your hands together for those individuals who prepared this video for us tonight.